Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I have another new Utah feature for you. That's right. I was going through my Utah features and I realized I overlooked one in one of my favorite workspace and that is the service operations workspace, which you can see right up here behind me. Um, service operations workspace is where you can get to a lot of your ITSM, ITOM stuff. And in a previous video, I had shown the contact details of the caller of an incident record. So I have a Utah Features video for that. And as I was going through, we're kind of getting ready for Vancouver, and I was like, well, what's left that I haven't covered yet? And I realized interactions have been enhanced with Utah, and that includes asset details and requester contact details on an interaction, which I thought was pretty cool. It's a pretty big deal um, that it actually works. So let's check out what that looks like. We're gonna go over to Service Operations Workspace. I'm logged in as Hello System Administrator in my PDI, my personal developer instance, and I'm just gonna start with new interaction. Interactions are one of those like pre-ticket records, like right? somebody's calling you, somebody's walking up to your desk, somebody's chatting you in Slack or Teams or something, and you really don't know what they want yet. It could be an incident, it could be a service request for something in the service catalog, it could be anything. So you start with an interaction, that way you can route that ticket exactly to where it needs to go. All right, now I've got the new interaction record up. I'm gonna move my head over to the left because everything that I'm gonna wanna show you here is gonna show up in this little green box here on the right hand side I won't keep the green box up but we're just gonna go ahead and add a caller what's to say or open for let's just you choose my usual right now Abraham Lincoln who I usually go to and watch what happens over there on the right hand side first we get the requester information I'm just gonna wait a couple of seconds and I'm gonna to to put this in as hey Abraham Lincoln sent me a chat did you see what happened over there so as I was sitting there it was actually running asynchronously and doing some things so now I have his contact details I have his recent records and look at this I have his recent or his assets available to me I haven't even saved the form everybody it loaded all that up asynchronously here's the recent interactions we can see Abraham Lincoln had a walk up and a chat so that was new in Utah and I totally missed it hate that I didn't show you that let's just see what happens when we change the caller here maybe Abraham Lincoln wasn't really him it was really able tutor he just had his Abraham Lincoln voice on so let's switch this to able tutor and see how that updates. Okay, so I've got Able Tutor's contact information loaded there now, his recent records, his assets, just like Sam, uh, Abraham Lincoln's assets showed up right there. And again, like we showed in the previous video, I can actually pull up these contact details in the interaction in service operations workspace. I don't have to wait to, again, save this record before I can do anything. So awesome, awesome new features there. I just wanna make sure that you saw that one before you said goodbye to Utah. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in enhancements to interactions record in service operations workspace in ServiceNow. And until next time, and don't forget to always be learning.